Farmers living in arid and semi-arid lands are mostly vulnerable to prolonged droughts. Despite these conditions, many farmers have not lost hope for a better life. There has been a growing number of farmers in the semi-arid areas looking for alternative ways to grow crops despite water scarcity. Greenpeace, an institute for culture and ecology, ICE, are involved in transforming the lives of these farmers through organizing trainings on new farming methods. Through the trainings, farmers interact with other farmers from other locations and learn ways on how to improve their way of living. One such method promoted by the two organizations is the Zypit technology, which is a water harvesting technology suitable for areas with unpredictable rain. This technology can achieve sustainable agriculture and food security for all. Zypit is a low-cost sustainable agriculture and food security technology which can be applied by farmers of all walks of life, including the youth in agriculture, and it involves harvesting and conservation of rain runoff and soil fertility restoration. Let me start by saying this technology of Zypits has really helped me. My farm has the sandy soil and it reached a point I knew I could not harvest anything from the land. This is because the soil was not fertile and it needed a lot to be done. I met members of ICE organization who trained me on Zypits which is the farming technology I use up to now. I started small and planted the first season and the yields were very good. I extended the technology to another piece of land. All I can say is that I have seen the benefits of Zypids. It is one of the methods of conservation agriculture. So, if you use Zypids technology, you are assured that you will not lose your manure and it is one way of harvesting water from your farm. When you go to many farms, whenever it rains, there is so much water lost from the farms. But when you use Zypids, the water will be retained. Since the trainings organized by Greenpeace and ICE, more than 50 farmers within the area have dug up the Zypids in readiness for rainfall. Zypids can be used to grow bananas, sorghum, maize, and millets. While growing maize in Zypids, dig circular or square holes 30 centimeters, that is one feet deep. A square hole measuring 75 by 75 by 30 centimeter will accommodate nine maize plants. The topsoil is mixed with farmyard manure at a ratio of four to one and returned. One acre will accommodate 1,778 plant pits, each measuring 75 by 75 by 30 centimeter, which gives plant population of 16,000. One pit will yield a minimum of 1.5 kilograms, giving 30 bags of maize from one acre. Zypit's techniques has breathed new life into African smallholder farming for its inclination for reconnecting farmers to their farms and restoring soil fertility in lands for a better living. In addition to its adaptive capability, 
The technique is simple and with a little effort, farmers can attain greater heights by ensuring food security and putting more cash in the pockets of many.